Hi Solar Energy students, my name is Yalda and today I'm going to review homework assignment 1.4 with you. That was the assignment where you had to calculate what percentage of a country's area you had to cover to be able to supply its energy demand. Here I have already written down the data given in the assignment. You have a list of five countries with their areas given the equivalent sun hours given, as well as their annual energy consumption. Now these sun hours per day show the equivalent hours that the sun shines with an irradiance of a thousand watts per square meters. So for the US this is four hours per day with an irradiance of a thousand watts per square meters. And for India this is five hours. Imagine you have a 270 watt peak PV system. Then the first sub-question asks, in which country would be best to place the panels to obtain maximum output? Now if you understand the concept of equivalent sun hours, then this is actually a very simple question. Because of course you would get the maximum energy output for the same panel if you place the panel at a location with maximum sun hours per day. Now if you look at the table, the country with the maximum sun hours per day is India. Moving on to the second question. It asks the percentage of US area that you would need to cover to supply its annual energy demand if the solar panels have an efficiency of 15%. Now to calculate this, you need to know two things. First, you want to know the number of panels so you want to know the number of panels you would need to supply the annual energy demand and second, you want to know the area per panel So let's start with the number of panels. To calculate the number of panels needed, we need to know the yearly energy output per panel first. We know that each panel is 217 watt peaks and that it has an efficiency of 15%. The watt peak means that if the panel is irradiated by 1000 watts per square meters, this is STC, standard testing conditions, it would generate an output of 217 watts. Now in the US we have four hours of a thousand watts per square meters per day. So on a yearly basis a solar panel in the US generates, let me calculate this, 217 watts times four hours per day times 365 days in a year and this gives us, if you calculate it, 394,200 watt hours per year. Now in three significant numbers, if you simplify this, this is 0 0.394 megawatt hours per year. The energy consumption in the US is given in megawatt hours per year also and for the US this is almost 4 billion. In three significant numbers this is 3.89 times 10 to the 9th megawatt hours per year. So then dividing this number by the annual energy output per panel, you get the number of panels necessary. So let's do this. We have 300 or 3.89 times 10 to the 9th megawatt hours per year. This is the energy consumption. And we divide this by 
the energy output per panel which is 0 0.394 megawatt hours per year and this gives us 9.87 times 10 to the 9th panels now that we have the number of panels you want to know what area they would occupy and for that you need to know the area of one panel first so you know that when 1000 watts per square meters falls on a panel the output is 270 watts and that the panels have an efficiency of 15 percent with this information you can calculate the area of one PV module because you know that the 1000 watts per square meters times the area is the total incident power. So you have a thousand watts per square meter times the area. This is P in times the efficiency is the output power which is 217 watts. Now with this you can calculate the area of one panel and when you do that the area of one panel is 1.8 meters squared. So then the total area for all panels would be the number of panels times the area per panel. Now let's do this. We have 9.87 times 10 to the 9th panels and we do this times 1.8 meters squared. And this gives us 17.8 times 10 to the 9th meters squared, which is the same as 17.8 times 10 to the 6th, 3, I mean, sorry, kilometers squared. Then you calculate the area percentage of US, which is the area of all panels divided by the area of the US. So let's do this. We take the area of all panels, which is 17.8 times 10 to the 3 kilometers squared, divided by 9.83, this number, times 10 to the 6th kilometers squared times a hundred percent. If you calculate this you will get 0 0.18 percent which is the area percentage you need to cover to supply the US's energy demand. Now the same thing you can do with all other countries and the formula you're actually using is if you want to calculate the area percent area percent is energy consumption divided by the energy per panel so energy consumption divided by energy per panel you do this times the area per panel divided by the area of the country times a hundred now remember that the energy per panel is different in different countries since it depends on the equivalent sun hours according to the following formula. So you have energy per panel energy per panel is 217 watts times 10 to the minus 6, I'm going to do this in megawatts, times the equivalent sun hours, times 365 days in a year, will give you the energy per panel. Now if you do this calculation for all countries, you get these percentages. For the US, we already had 0.18%. For the 
for India we have 0 0.11 percent for Brazil we have 0 0.02 percent for Spain we have 0 0.21 percent and for the UK <coughs> sorry we have 1.03 percent therefore for the final two questions the country with the highest percentage of area needed to supply its own energy demand is the UK with 1.03 percent and the country with the lowest is Brazil with 0.02 percent so there you go I hope the assignment is clear now thank you all for listening and good luck with the rest of the course